Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. So I was on YouTube, right? And my girl Whitney Natural 85, she had this video with her making a sea moss gel. She was using Irish sea moss. This is what it looks like when it's dried. Mine is from a brand called Happy Fox Organic Sea Moss. But anyway, I saw this video. I said, I am intrigued. And so I have decided to do the same thing on my 4C hair and see how this wash and go process goes. So first, I'm going to show you how I made it using her, her recipe with a couple of variations. This is wild crafted organic sea moss. It comes dried and looks like this. Whitney measured out half cup of sea moss, but I added a full cup. I later realized this was a mistake, so I'd recommend you use her recommended half cup. It will be enough, trust me. I ended up transferring the sea moss to a larger bowl as the moss began to swell beyond the water after about an hour. Then I covered it with more distilled water. Mommy duties called, so I kept it in the refrigerator overnight. Next, I rinsed the sea moss and transferred it into a heat safe bowl. Then I covered it with more distilled water. Then I set my hot plate to medium heat and put the sea moss filled bowl on it. The goal is to slowly heat until it melts. It's really important to occasionally stir the mixture so that it melts evenly. Once the sea moss melts, it's time to remove it from the heat. The consistency is really thick, so to thin it out, I've added a half a cup more of distilled water and a healthy amount of Melanin Hair Care Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend. While mixing it, I noticed some black bits floating and this is an indication that I've burned the sea moss. I'll show you how to remedy that later, but put the mixture in a blender on low. The color and texture changed just like Whitney's did and because I've never worked with this ingredient before, it was really cool to see. Remember those black bits? Well, let's get rid of them. I, I feel like that did not sound right. <laughs> anyway, I'm pouring the cream into a nut milk strainer. Use this pressure to push the gel through the strainer. It worked like a charm. I wanted to weigh the gel, so I put it on my scale. It ended up being just over eight ounces and 233.4 grams. Okay, let's be honest, this is way too much gel for just one use, so I decided to preserve it. I'll link this preservative in the description box, but it is a broad spectrum preservative and pretty easy to use. You can use this preservative anywhere from 0.5 to 1%, so I tried to get as close to 1% as possible. Then I use my hand mixer to blend it in. Now it's really important that you add preservatives when the right temperature is reached. Most times this is done after the mixture has cooled. Also make sure the mixture falls into the proper pH range for the preservative to be effective. It's important to do your research when you're using preservatives because they're all different. This hasn't undergone any microbial testing, so please, and I'll say it again, do your own research. When it's ready, pour it into an applicator bottle and you're done. Okay, and so now I am gonna take it to the shower, wash, condition, deep condition my hair, do all the good things and then try this gel out. Let's see if it works.
okay, okay, no. Uh, listen, we've got the mixture. It is in one of these applicator bottles that I was harassed <laughs> about getting so that I didn't like use this bucket. Like, you know, I just like having fun. Listen, so I'm gonna use the bucket first and then I'm gonna go in with the applicator bottle. But um, I'm excited to give this a try. Now, she has her own leave-in. I don't have that leave-in, but I'm gonna be using aloe vera gel. I'm gonna be using her Twist Elongating Cream. And this is pretty much the exact recipe that she made for her sea moss gel. It, I mean, I can smell the melanin hair oil, like that scent, but really this doesn't have a scent. Very nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna douse my hair with a little bit more water now that I've washed, conditioned, deep conditioned, all of that. And I'm also gonna ask you to subscribe, okay? Do you know how uncomfortable it is to be in the shower cold with, with a sports bra on, you guys? It is very uncomfortable, but I do it for you. I do it all for you. So if this is like your first time here or your fifth, I'm gonna need you to, I'm, I'm just gonna need you to subscribe. Thank you and stop side chicking me, okay? I am the main one. Subscribe. I'm very excited. My hair is already pretty much detangled. So let's go ahead in with this aloe vera gel as a leave-in. Okay. Very nice, very nice. And then we're gonna top this section with this moisturizing cream. Okay, I'm not gonna put too, too much. This is gonna take probably forever to dry, but that's okay, you know, we're, we're doing it. We, we like to be, wanna be scientists up in here. You know what I'm saying? I've got a little budding scientist in my in my spirit. All right, let's see. Got that, boom. Now for the sea moss. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, all right. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, you guys know that I do the Anthony Dickey wash and go method, right? His products are excellent. When I tell you excellent, excellent. I get a great result every single time. The last step with the, um, I don't know what it's called actually, but there's a last step with this sort of like creamy pudding stuff that is so good. And then he tops it with a mousse and I absolutely love it. I love the results, but let me tell you my coins and my pocket, getting that over and over again, especially, you know, trying to do wash and goes on the daily. It's expensive, you know, and he does recommend a couple of alternatives uh, in terms of like the cleansing process, but I've been looking for something that I could use that's a little bit more on the low low. So Whitney, Whitney girl, thank you. Because I think this might, if it gives as good of a result, this might be a nice replacement. Wait, 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 okay. Oh yeah. Oh, this is going to be very, very nice. Okay, so just for reference for you guys who also have type four hair or happen to be 4C, the more product you put on your hair, right? And the longer your hair is, hair is <laughs> um, your coils start to elongate and stretch out. Um, also, I have low porosity hair, so you know, everybody's results is not gonna be exactly, exactly the same. I have a very, 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 very coily, tiny, tiny coil or curl, if you wanna call it that as well. Some people like to use that as well, but, and I have very dense hair, um, at least medium to dense. 
uh, medium to high density, I'd say. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Oh my goodness, if this does not flake, I am gonna be in love. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my hair under the water again one more time. Oh, cold. Okay, I can feel that the sea moss definitely starts to kind of soak in to the hair a little bit faster than some of the other products I've used. So let's go ahead and add more. Now that we've doused it down, breaking that through my hair again. Oh, chow. See, we done did some now. Hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. So now I just need a towel so that I can do my favorite part, <laughs> the Olympic whip. On your mark, get set, go. Do it side to side now. Oh, 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 see, oh, see, she don't know how to act now. She don't, oh, oh, oh. y'all gonna say, ooh. I'm back with the diffuser. And yes, I have purchased a sit under dryer, one of those portable ones that I had on my natural hair holiday list. Yes, I did go and get me one as well. However, that is not what we use. She used a diffuser. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Typically uh, I'll do it for like 30 minutes. is well it's still warm so it's hard to tell uh it's definitely maybe like 50 percent there the back is a little drier than the front but i'm loving you know this new technique of not scrunching <laughs> i'd only seen to be fair caucasian women using diffusers like when i was actually paying attention and they're always like scrunching or like the girls with the looser textures are always like scrunching because they they really want that um that volume that volume volume not volume volume here we go we've got our bands they're actually kind of wet so i'm gonna just kind of squeeze them in my towel a little bit oh goodness gracious air dry out as much as possible before I put my scarf on and go to bed. I do sleep on a satin uh, pillowcase. <sighs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. The next day, my hair was still a little too damp, so I blotted it with a towel to remove some of the excess gel. This is when I noticed the white flakes. I brushed it off until I got in the car and hubby told me to put on a hat, y'all. <laughs> there were white flakes everywhere. I got a ton of definition and light hold, but perhaps I added too much product? Maybe I absolutely need her leave-in conditioner? I'm not sure, but I might have to go back to the drawing board to figure out what I did wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some... I have some bad, bad news. No! <laughs> you guys, there's flaking. Total flaking. The thing that I was so, 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 so worried about, it happened. It came true. So take a look, exhibit A. I 
noticed the flaking. Well, actually my husband noticed the flaking yesterday when we were going out to dinner. Uh, and I was like, oh, well maybe it's just a little bit, but as it started to dry, there was just so much more flaking. And so my hypothesis is, is if, if we're just assuming that, you know, it's not just a fluke, that it, that it only works on Whitney's hair, uh, I doubt that. I think that I, in using like something closer to the Anthony Dickey method of just like completely drenching your hair in product, I think it works with his products, but maybe, maybe not so much with this sea moss gel. Uh, so I am inclined to give this another try in my personal life and share with you guys on Instagram stories. The pros is, is that if I can get this right combination of things right, because you know, she did use her own leave-in, she used her butter and she used um, the sea moss gel and my leave-in was aloe vera gel. I don't think that it would make that much of a difference, but maybe it does, maybe it did. Uh, the pros though, is the definition is, is amazing. I mean, you guys can literally see my hair is stretched. Obviously, I did do the banding method for a second time last night. Um, and so, you know, I've got a nice little stretch. Um, this really defines your coils like a lot. I use a lot of it, so it defined it a lot. Um, however, I need to work on my ratios, I think, of this product as well as, um, no, there's just, there's no as well as I just need to work on it and just see uh, if I can figure it out and it turns out like amazing. Maybe I'll do an update, but I'll definitely share an update on my IG stories at Latoya underscore Ebony. Uh, the other thing is, is that my hair does feel very dry, but it's not like gel hard. Dry. Like it's it's dry, but it still has some movement to it, which is what I really like about this. However, it is dry, like to the point, like you're gonna need to add like some moisturizer back on top, which is for me, a very common thing. So I, it doesn't phase me every time I use any kind of gel or anything, I always have to go back in and re-moisturize anyway with any hairstyle, so that doesn't phase me. I think the results are beautiful. I just think that I need to work on the amount that I'm putting on my hair. And the good thing is, is that this is a wash and go. I can just wash my hair and try again. Uh, I'm not gonna try again in this video because it's already so long. <laughs> if you guys want a part two of it, you know, let me see how it goes. And that will determine if it's worth it. If any of you guys have tried this sea moss concoction, comment down below, let me know what worked for you. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meantime, take a look at my hair care regimen. If you want to know like all the things that I use to grow my hair and you know the processes that I do, uh, my, wa my washing goes, <laughs> my washing goes, etc., etc. Uh, go ahead, check out that video. And then under here, I did an ASMR uh, wash video, hair wash video. So if you're into like just like very soft music and the sounds of hair being detangled and washed and showers and all of that, I'll put that video there. Outside of that, subscribe, baby. <laughs> subscribe, comment, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Mwah.